So obviously here the car is with its new quarter panel on. So what's a guan in here then, Wimpy? Well, shh, we'll see. Anyway, time to get cracking. Do it. Yeah, forget Billy the kid, Wimpy the kid. Time to get it soaked. But yeah, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And today here in Bourgogne, France, yeah, it's rather... Scorchio. Which is obviously not only good news for my old sunflower, but also the fact that we're back in the old Infinity Garage working on Project Golf GT. And boom! But guys, before we kick off, those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Please, if you like what you see, consider joining the Wimpy Brotherhood and hit that subscribe. But yeah, also, I will leave a link here. It's coming, it's coming. There it is. Yeah, that link is to episode one, so you can follow the build from day one and so that you don't miss out on anything. So you've got some catching up to do, do it. Back to the vid. So, in the last episode, we had got, obviously been down and given this a little shakedown test drive down the road, and it was all ready to head down to the body shop. So, I pretty much had the back seat removed and put the quarter panel, and I had a little electric bike for getting home. But yeah, I trucked on down to the body shop, and yeah, that's kind of where the bit of bad news came. So yeah, from the impact, obviously on the other side of the car, but I say I try and cut to the clip, but he obviously started to point out all the little creases in, in the boot where the impact had just rippled through the interior body panels. Which meant only one thing, to do the job properly, you'd actually have to redress that inside body panels, pulling it all back out because he believed that the inside had actually traveled a good inch, which meant when it came to fitting the new quarter panel, yeah, basically I'd, I didn't stand a chance. Phone rang on Monday morning, bang on nine o'clock. I was back on the old electric bike. I couldn't wait to go and pick it up. So obviously here the car is with its new quarter panel on. And yeah, let's just, let's just, Let's go have a look. Let me show you around. Boom! So yeah, new quarter panel is on. I still am lacking the bracket and everything to hold the bumper on, hence why you have the remains of the cellar tape and the cellar tape still there. But yeah, that is all welded in and looking great. And let's just jump firstly onto the inside of the boot. Yeah, so basically it was all tidied up. All them little creases came out of the top, all the ones that were in and along here, all been pulled out when obviously this inner panel was all sort of pulled a good inch that way. Obviously there's a few little touch-ups regarding, you know, paint and stuff, but pretty much that was the agreement. He was going to obviously do all the heavy soldering and basically cutting and putting the panel on, and all the touch-ups and masking and everything and painting, that was all obviously gonna be down to me. So yeah, it's pretty much where it was before. It was obviously, I think it was cut kind of around about here. So he pretty much cut it a little bit more horizontally, put this really nice sort of weld and I guess sort of some sort of panel bond in there. And he's also spot welded all these lovely little spot welds that obviously coming down here, joining the panel in beautifully. And yeah, all beautifully welded in here at the bottom. So yeah, I have to say I am really chuffed with the results. And not only that, but I had a really good chat with a the guy there. And yeah, I think for future builds, when it comes to obviously pulling frames and stuff like that, I guess you could say I could have just found my French equivalent of V-tuned. So I guess now it's just a case of figuring out what the next plan of attack is. Yeah, I wouldn't mind just giving this a good clean and yeah, perhaps just getting all this all primed in, all weatherproof and yeah, try and maybe even get a little bit of base coat down on some of these seams. That way I can get all the interior boxed in and sorted. Speaking of interior, can you remember when I said I had a busted seatbelt? But I think, yeah, that now needs replacing. Well, 
Kind enough, a viewer sent me a comment to say, Wimpy, just reinstall the seat belt back into its original position and it should work. And I thought, really? Yeah, and it's working like a dream. Look, tuggy tug. So yeah, thanks for that. Winner. <sighs> so what's a guan in here then, Wimpy? Well, I'll tell you what's a guan in. Yeah, it's only just now cooled down to 26 degrees today. This afternoon it was like 34, 33, 34 degrees, which in Fahrenheit is like, yeah, you need an ice cream hot. But yeah, as soon as I try and put any filler on that burning hot black bodywork, yeah, it ain't just, it's not gonna work. So I figured to get this video out, because it's gonna be mega hot all week, I figured Wimpy Brothers will go twilight. We're doing all nighter. Welcome to the twilight zone, yeah. But basically what I want to get done tonight is just try and get as much, sort of all the everything tidied up, filled, sanded, flat, primed, ready, paint prep, ready for obviously wanging down the color. So yeah, I'm gonna bosh this down, get the old tunes on and get cracking. So yeah, I've got a little bit of primer on, not on, just on the bottom there, it's hard to see, obviously, with the light. And now I think I'm ready to start attacking with the old sandpaper, the first round of uh, filler. So yeah, back with the tunes. Yeah, let's see how it looks. It's very, I would have found this difficult in broad daylight, in uh, obviously limited light. Hmm, good idea? Maybe not. We'll see, anyway. Time to get cracking. Do it. like a moth barbecue over there by that halogen. <laughs> oh, stinks. <sighs> Tell you what, it's kind of, times like now, I like think just, that's enough. That'll do. But then I kind of like think about some of your comments, your support that you guys give. And uh, 
makes me always just think, nah mate, do it, keep going, yeah, so thanks for that, thank you, I'd do it. That is it for tonight. It did feel like it was going a little bit cowboy towards the end, I must admit. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I've not obliterated the inside with overspray or anything, but I think I'm all right. Uh, time to, yeah, 2 a.m., time to get packed up. And then, uh, yeah, use my best ninja skills to get into bed. Hopefully not wake anyone up. We'll catch up again, coffee in the morning. That way, we'll have a good look over that and fingers crossed it's turned out all right i'll see you then bonne nuit yes so it is the next day i have however been up and out this morning boshing down a coffee i was straight at it obviously moving the car back in front of the old wimper cabane but also, uh, yeah, giving the car a bit of a wash down, basically on the overspray police, which I was happy to report. Had just a little bit of overspray on this little corner here, which after a little bit of clay bar action, followed by a little bit of squeaky squeaky polish, that's all looking pucker again. Happy days, as yeah, I was kind of shooting from the hip a little bit last night with that old primer can. <laughs> yeah, forget Billy the kid, wimpy the kid. Boom! Well, I have to say, I'm really pleased with it. Yeah, actually, uh, one thing you may have noticed, we'll touch on that first, is yeah, I just sort of sent it. I just carried on painting the whole panel, and yeah, like I say, after the wet sand, we'll see how the primer turned out. Yeah, that is looking absolutely brilliant to look at and to the touch. Wow, that's hot. Coming down here, all looking very good. And now this is obviously all exposed. You can actually see, this was, I'm not sure if you remember, but the quarter panel was just sort of raggedly cut off like that before. Yeah, they've actually pulled that off, obviously, and slotted it in behind, which is, yeah, that, that couldn't have been easy. Well, certainly not for me. But yeah, sweet job, once again. I did, again, before we finished up last night, I did just, paint in I'm not sure if that's picking up on the camera obviously it's all in the shadow but I did just paint in with um, the metallic black on that inside lip there because when it comes to actually obviously painting this panel in I'll be obviously putting my sellotape and film and protector in on that side so that all the inside is all taken care of and the same dealio is with this lip let me try and flip you around I say I'm not sure how well that's picking up, but literally all that, yeah, all the inside of this, obviously door frame now, is all painted in, ready to rock. Because again, all the protection film and tape will be going in here, blocking off all that area. Which pretty much leads me down now to here, which is kind of like the only little spot I would say that I need to go over again, maybe with a, I'm gonna see how it, obviously it sounds out once I get, give it a quick wet sound, but it's just a tiny little, yeah, touch down there. That needs another little once over with the filler. But apart from that, yeah, really pleased. A few moments later. Well, there we go, speak of the devil. I had to just quickly shoot off because the, the guy from the body shop actually called me. Um, basically when I picked up the car, the car, the, the guy that did the work actually wasn't there and he said he had a couple of pickies that hopefully you would have seen previously of it, obviously him pulling out that panel. And also, while I was there, I was hoping to show him a couple of pickies on my phone or potentially future projects for the channel. 
of which I will share that with you at the end. Like I say, great for to hear your comments as to what you think. But yeah, it's all just early days. It's just an idea I had. So yeah, wait to the end. I'll share them with you and yeah, let me know what you think. But yeah, wow, things have changed. <laughs> It is now gone from being glorious weather to, yeah, there is the tropic storm, what sounds like a tropic storm, heading this way. Yeah. But hey, I'm gonna try and position the camera here, so hopefully that doesn't get bust, but yeah. Luckily enough, I'm waterproof, so is some fire. So yeah, let's uh, position the car, and hopefully, yeah, let's, let's get this thing sanded, shall we? Time to get it soaked. But yeah, they're doing. hoping to get some of that interior back installed but I think mother nature has got different plans but yeah super chuffed in how that panel is looking that is so silky smooth really loving it and like I say my life was made super easy filling and prepping that for paint based on how good a job that panel was put in yeah definitely like I say I was sat on the fence for a bit do I try and do it or not and obviously the fact that I just brushed it out with that puller machine and got it all sorted, I have to say zero regrets. And two, yeah, wow, the time I've saved. So all I'm waiting for now is, yeah, a nice good bit of weather. Obviously that is, it is due. So I think uh, I'm just gonna have to time it right, wait for the right moment and just attack. So all that to come in the next episode. But guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. Hit me up with your comments down below. I've been Wimpy, you've been awesome for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. All right? Laters. <laughs> 2018 Subaru WRXST. Right? Yeah, I think I have to just go with cars that finish with the letter I in the name uh, for the whole of the Wimpy Brothers series. I seem to have a problem with, yeah, the, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I just thought it's a pretty epic car, right? Obviously, serious history. Yeah, big car enthusiast can't like the GTI. And yeah, I just thought it'd be a car that you could just go crazy bit on the mods. Yeah, obviously power and all sorts. I just thought, hmm. I hadn't, I had, I'd say that it just crossed my mind and I thought, yes, have a little goose of ganders. And yeah, that's what I found. 2018 WRX STI front all smash. Yeah. Like I say, it's literally just fluttering around in the air at the moment. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. WRX STI. You know the rest. See you soon. <laughs>